Ja. Ja. Hallo.
then start your home when no milk tag is this. Uh, that is, if you choose in a keyword, home when no milk is this. And uh, what does it mean? It means that for any three modules, M, N, and R, there exists a polynomial phi M, N, R from the polynomial ring with integer coefficient such that the whole number F, M, N, R is given by evaluation of this polynomial at Q. This is so-called a whole polynomial. In this case, we can define a generic ring of whole algebra. <coughs> by a denoted by H A bar. This is a space over the Laurent polynomial <coughs> ring. And the multiplication is given by uh, taking the whole polynomial here. <coughs> this is for any M. <coughs> OK, then we can state that the quantum group is isomorphic to the generic whole algebra. And if we degenerate at t is equal to 1, then you get the enveloping algebra is isomorphic to the general case here, t is equal to 1. Moreover, if we take, consider a sub algebra, a subspace of this algebra generated by uh, spanned by incompatible <coughs> object, that is only considered in decomposable modules. Then this is a Lie sub algebra. We take the rep this sub algebra of generic ring of algebra. This Lie algebra is nothing else but n plus. So you can find this from this that whole polynomial is this way is very useful to relate the whole algebra and to the Lie theory. So this is for the uh, in computer case, it is natural to ask that <coughs> how about for uh, for ten quiver? It's a natural to ask this. Can we extend the, the, the above result for thinker viewers to ten viewers? This is a natural question. And more precisely, we can we want to show that we want to know. Can we give a general realization of the quantum group u mu and plus, and also the Lie algebra for a fine case? You can find that both of these questions basically uh, is determined by the whole polynomial. That is to say, <coughs> we are reduced to ask, can we prove, show that whole polynomial exists for temperatures? So this is our motivation. Yeah. <coughs> Okay, now we uh, 
will show some uh, main idea about this project. In the second part, we explain some main ideas. The ideas come from the compar comparison of the representation of quivers, of income quiver. and uh, lecture of 10 years. By the, by the definition of link of edge, uh, we need to consider the isomorphism classes of objects on the one hand, because it forms a basis. And on the other hand, we need to consider the extension of modules because uh, the multiplication is given by the extension of modules. So in this case, for Dinkan Kriwa, as the modern class is, is a one-to-one -one correspondent to the functions on the positive root of semi-simple real to the non-negative integers. So this is independent of the field. But this is not the case for Tem Kriwa. We need to recall the definition, uh, recall a uh, uh, category of time quiver here. We recall that if Q is a time quiver, then the module of KQ has the following shape. It contains the pre projective part and uh, some non-homogeneous tube, maybe two or three, depends on AD case, and uh, some homogeneous tubes of degree one, and some homogeneous tubes of degree two, and so on. This is a regular part. And also the three index part. This is the, temp, uh, temp, the module category of temp Q1. <coughs> Okay, uh, we find that uh, we consider the <coughs> consider the isomorphism classes of modules. It comes from the three part. We denote this by uh, here by projective part, uh, pre-projective part, pre-injective part. For these two parts. Uh, this object here are determined by their isomorphism classes or by real sure root. So it, it is independent of the field extension. And uh, for modules in these non homogeneous tubes, it is given by a multi, -part a multi partition. It is also independent of the field. The, the question only lies in the homogeneous ones. For any object in one homogeneous tubes, it is determined by a partition <coughs> together with a closed point. Here we use notation lambda is a partition and Z is a closed point. We know that this is independent of the field, but the the cross point here quite depends on the field K. So we cannot use this to give a, a, a parameterizer to, for any object. But if we only consider the degree of the uh, point, it is an integer. So it is independent of the field extension. So we take this uh, datum to parameterize the isomorphism classes. For, uh, together with these three guys, we will introduce the so-called separate sequence or more generally decomposition sequence, which are both independent of the field extension, which will be clear later. <coughs> so anyhow, we can fill this problem by we deal with by separate uh, sequence of the competition 
sequence. Okay, the uh, object is clear now. Now we consider the intention of modules. Uh, for Dinkan Kui Wa, this is independent of the Kui object. Intention. But uh, for Ten Kui Wa, it is quite not the case. For example, for, uh, for Kranet Kui Wa, if you take a pre a uh, simple project module and a simple inject module here, you will get a, I mean, <coughs> we consider the extension now. We consider such a <coughs> sequence from projective and injective ones, then the extension will, contain, uh, will involve all the modules here of degree one. But the number of degree one tubes depends on the field. So this is a problem here. It is not independent of the field. How to deal with this problem? We, um, our idea is to put these two uh, separate parts together. And uh, we, we will not make the regular part in the middle. We just want to make this on the left or on the, or on the right. Uh, Okay, more press, more, uh, okay. In more details, I will show in the following. I mean, for, this is a module category of KQ with T and I here. We denote it by A. We want to glue these two parts and we consider in a direct Yeah, This is A shift by one. <coughs> so in the derived category, these two parts group very nice. It forms a platform. And uh, if we take consider this category we denote by A prime, then for any two objects here, the extension will only uh, involve finitely many tubes. It will not contain all the tubes there. So the problem can be solved. Yeah, this is the main idea. But what is this category? It's nothing else but the category of Korean shift over a vertical project line domestic type. So uh, we find that the derived category of modules is equivalent to the derived category of Korean shift over S for S domestic type. In this case, we can show that how polynomial exists. If so, then how to relate this to whole algebra? This is the, the only question. The main question is to relate it to this part, to this whole algebra. But these two is not quite easy to relate it to each other. If we formulate the so-called Greenfield double, Version. We also do for Korean shifts. Then, thanks to the isomorphism given by Kramer, it shows that derived equivalence induces isomorphism between Jinko doubles. Moreover, by taking the Jinko double procedure, it will preserve the generic. So if we deal with this case, and then we can finish for this model case. So this is the whole idea here. Now we can state our main result. First one, we need to recall the definition of weighted. projective line as we only consider the domestic type because in this case these are related to the temporal. But in Oppermann's talk he also called final case, final type. Okay. Uh, we we'll given a, a sequence of integers P1, P2 and P3 with each EI greater or equal to one. We can associate a Abelian group LP, which is a free Abelian group generated by vectors S1, 
S2 and S3 factor and a relation given by P1, S1 is equal to P2, S2, P3, S3. This is Abelian group of rank 1. We also associate a <coughs> algebra which is defined by polynomial rings over a relation given by determined by the P1 and sorry, S1 P1 plus S2 P2 S3 P3. This is also determined by the sequence P. This is a uh, not a degraded, but it is error graded by defining the degree of each variable S i by vector S i. <coughs> so the weighted projective line as we will use the notation uh, weighted projective line is by definition uh, error graded spectrum over S. We're only interested in the category coin shifts then by serial construction. The category coin shift is uh, given by the module categories over S. We take error graded over its finite length part. This has been introduced by Oppermann uh, in higher dimension case. We just uh, re recall that. <coughs> Okay. Uh, now we show want to show the whole polynomial for this case.
people did not hear. Uh, such sequence, uh, namely Ramba or Alpha Tuna, are called of type D, where D, D1 is given by D1, D2, D2, Dn. For a robot, if we insert some multi partition, uh, empty partition here, we can say any two partition, any two such, two such sequence are of the same type. It's just a definition. Okay. <laughs> uh, we want to give a representation of this uh, sequence in any finite field. So if we give a notation denote by chi b is given by a sequence of points or pairwise distinct point. Uh, we only need to the homogeneous ones, so we call it of ordinary point. Ordinary means related to the homogeneous parts. Uh, this ordinary point is satisfy that each degree of j i is equal to d i. So we can give a representation of each sequence. We define S K uh, lambda. This is a, a separate sequence. If we at a sequence of points here, it means such a Korean shift as a lambda i j i, where i from 1 to n. So this is a shift in homogeneous cubes. And also we can give a representation of any Korean shift, it is s k alpha. This is a convention in a non-homogeneous part and uh, with this SK homogeneous part. So this is a basic notation here. <laughs> now we give a definition of Hall algebra, uh, Hall polynomial, sir. If we say Hall polynomial exists for Korean shifts with respect to this decomposition sequence, it means that all polynomial exists for decomposition. Sorry, all polynomial exists with respect to decomposition sequence. Mathematically, means that we say. <coughs> If the following condition uh, holds, if for any three uh, decomposition sequence, namely alpha tilde, beta tilde, gamma tilde, we can assume they have the same type of type D, this is without loss of uh, generality. For any three such sequence, There exists a polynomial, then we find alpha, beta, gamma. So, <coughs> polynomials satisfying that for any finite field K with Q element, we allow Q is large enough, uh, the whole number. I mean, for any three representation of alpha, and as beta, k, and as k. This is three representation for alpha, theta, beta, theta, and gamma, theta. If this three, uh, for these three shifts, the whole number is given by taking uh, evaluation of these polynomials at uh, Q for any such points sequence, then we say how polynomial exists. This is a 
that they need your alcohol when you come to us. So the main result is, you can imagine, only one word. All polynomial does exist in this case. This is the main result. Using these three steps, we can finish the proof. 
which is the hot polynomial for this case. <coughs> As a corollary, we can obtain a version in Ringo's uh, sense. Let me for any three modules. There exists a polynomial. Each uh, 
animal in this set. So, the, and the hope is result. at all polynomial exists with respect to decomposition classes with respect to this memory <coughs> for any three decomposition class alpha two Beta tilde and gamma tilde. There exists a polynomial. I use notation percent here. It is a, a polynomial over Q. Satisfying that uh, for any finite field K with Q elements, the following sum for F, A, B, C, where A from this decomposition class has alpha theta, K, B, S, beta, theta, K, is given by a taking evaluation by evaluation of this polynomial. Yeah. And this is true for any C from this class as gamma K. <coughs> this year and this beautiful result. We just want to mention the result is a sum form. We, we show that each form is a polynomial. So <coughs> So we mean this is a refined. Uh, in fact, uh, we show that the polynomial for psi alpha delta, beta delta, gamma delta given by and the Hubri is such a sum of our polynomial alpha beta and the gamma multiply with some polynomial here where alpha, we can define relation between alpha and alpha prime, beta and beta prime. This is just by consider not the sequence part, the set. I mean, maybe some symmetry here. <coughs> but this part may be given by a fine, uh, polynomial in uh, Q. <coughs> okay, in the last five minutes, I will show an example. Partition, partition here. So it, uh, it will 
correspond to some three tubes of degree one. <coughs> we use less that here, and the sigma is given by two partition curve, and the tau is given by three partition here. <coughs> We can obtain some secondary uh, sequence, different sequence. First one is given by row when we just take the same order. The different is a set, is a sequence here. Sigma y is given by one, one, m t. And uh, how one is given by this is the sequence. We also get another separate sequence. Row 2 is the same as this one. Mm. And uh, sigma 2 is given by 1. Mt is in the middle. This is different. And the tau 2 is also different. Two, one. One, 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 two, one. The sequence it depends on the order, so they are different. <coughs> so we can calculate the phi log one, sigma one, tau one. You can imagine for any uh, for any such j from chi k d, it means we choose some homogeneous tubes. So this corresponds to one tube second tube, the third tube. So the whole polynomial can be uh, given by phi, one, one, one. This is in one tube here. And the phi, one, 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 and two, one. The last one is given by two, one, MT, and two, one. So each one can be calculated in one homogeneous tube. It's easy to do that. Uh, this is given by taking uh, one-dimensional space in three-dimensional space. It's given by Grossmannian. It's given by Q, Q squared plus Q plus one. This is equal to one. It's equal to one. So the result is this. Similarly, we can calculate by low two, sigma two, and tau two. You find that only This result says that rho sigma tau is given by the sum of rho 1 sigma 1 rho 2 sigma 2 is given by 2 q square 2 q 1. So this is a com comparison for our result. Okay, I think I can stop here. Thank you very much. Quite difficult because uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, the difficulty. I mean, in ten quiver itself is very difficult because the extension between project and pre inject is uh, difficult. It will involve all the tubes. For ten, uh, for well case, that's much more uh, difficult because we cannot do the similar things by include two parts. There yeah, are other case. I mean, it also do not relate to where the project line is. The generic form of this uh, four algebra is that? Yes. yes, in our proof we show that use the whole polynomial, we can define the generic whole algebra for Korean shifts. We also give a PBW base there. We need the result. This uh, will hold the bi algebra structure? 
Uh, not, I don't think so. At the most, it is a uh, topological bias. Not a bias. Are you sure that topological bias? Yeah, topological sense. Yeah. Guys, this is our comment. The bar comes from uh, a department in the field. Yes. Actually, the equality was the same bias. Yes.